Have you ever heard about the magical donkey that solved a mystery in Akbar's palace? If not, then buckle up because we're diving into an enchanting tale from a time long past. In the grand and opulent palace of Emperor Akbar, a mystery was unfolding. The queen's treasured necklace, a marvel of exquisite craftsmanship and a gift from the emperor himself, had vanished from her room. But it wasn't just the necklace. Several other priceless items had been disappearing from the palace, causing a wave of unease to ripple through its grand halls. Amidst the mystery, let's introduce the key characters of our tale. Akbar, the mighty emperor, known for his wisdom and justice. The queen, elegant and gracious, was distraught over the loss of her precious necklace. And then there was Burble, Akbar's trusted advisor, renowned for his wit and clever solutions. With no clue about the missing items, Akbar turned to his wise advisor, Burble, for help. Burble, known for his wit and intelligence, came up with an unusual plan. As the intriguing situation unfolded, Burble decided to use an unexpected ally to help solve the mystery. This ally was none other than a magical donkey, a peculiar creature known for its uncanny ability to discern truth from falsehood. Burble's plan was as intriguing as it was simple. He proposed that each suspect should go alone into a tent with the magical donkey. The task was straightforward. Each person had to hold the donkey's tail. According to Burble's claim, the magical donkey had the ability to identify the thief. The donkey, it was said, would deliver a good kick to the guilty party. A clever, if somewhat unconventional method. But then again, Bearball was known for his unconventional solutions. This plan was not just about the magical donkey's supposed abilities, it was also a psychological game. The idea was to put each suspect under the spotlight to make them face their truths and fears. After all, if they were innocent, they had nothing to fear from a donkey's tail. But for the thief, the fear of being discovered could lead to revealing actions. As the suspects lined up, one by one, they entered the tent. The atmosphere was tense as each person emerged from the tent, some looking relieved, others apprehensive. The donkey, for its part, remained calm and composed, its tail swishing gently in the air. The suspects were watched closely for their reactions, for any signs of guilt or relief. Burble's plan was not just about identifying the thief, it was also about proving that intelligence and wit could triumph over dishonesty and deceit. The clever use of the donkey, an animal often underestimated and overlooked, was a testament to Burble's innovative thinking. Everyone followed Burble's instruction other than the thief. And as the day wore on, it became clear that Burbal's unusual plan was leading them closer to the truth. The thief, however, was yet to reveal himself. But as we all know, the truth has a way of coming out, especially when a magical donkey is involved. The thief was too scared to touch the donkey's tail, fearing the painful kick. But what he didn't know was that it wasn't the donkey's kick that would expose him. You see, Burbal, in his wisdom, had devised an ingenious plan. He had sprayed a powerful, unique scent on the donkey's tail. This scent, not visible to the naked eye, was the real detective in this mystery. As each suspect held the donkey's tail, they unknowingly got the scent on their hands. But the thief, oh the thief, too afraid of a simple donkey kick, avoided touching the tail. When Burble asked everyone to show their hands, it was clear as day. The thief was the only one whose hands didn't carry the unique scent. And so, the thief was caught not by a magical donkey, but by his own fear and Burble's clever trick. And so, the clever Burble had once again solved a mystery. This curious tale of the magical donkey and the missing necklace teaches us a valuable lesson. The story unfolds in the royal palace where, amidst all the grandeur and opulence, a precious necklace goes missing. The situation worsens as more valuables disappear and the mystery deepens. Enter Burble with his trusted companion, the magical donkey, who together devise a clever plan to catch the thief. Despite the fear instilled in everyone by the donkey's supposed magic powers, it was not magic but a clever idea that saved the day. Burble's ingenious use of scent to identify the thief showcased the power of good problem-solving skills. It was his wit, not magic, that solved the mystery and brought justice. This tale reminds us that when faced with problems, we should not rely on magic or luck, but instead, use our wits and come up with clever solutions. And remember, a clever idea can always save the day. Until next time, keep your wits about you.